Blackbusters. What's going on, family? We are back. Mm -hmm. Y'all see who I got here. Mm -hmm. Y'all see who we got here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is Blackbuster, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world. In the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. I'm your host, Big Ja, mm -hmm. along with my co-host. Uh, Tony Two Gun. Tony Two <laughs> bang, Gun. Bang, bang. bang. <laughs> Fastest, fastest draw in the West. Fastest gun in the West. <laughs> Tony Two Guns. On wallet. Yes, it did. It's bang, bang. Good. bang, bang. Yeah, there it is. And we have, man, the illustrious, the legend, man, my big brother, Buddy Lewis. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Two Guns and Jack? Yeah. What's going Johnny on? Two Guns. <laughs> Johnny Two Guns. <laughs> Deacon, Deacon Fry is in the building. Man, Deacon Fry. Deacon Fry is in yes. the building. Yes. <laughs> man, um, thank you. No, this is man. an honor, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I'm, I, I, man, I am humble, man. Thank you for having me. And, and um, I said this a long time ago when we met a while ago that it was a surreal moment when I um came back home. I went to school up in the Bay. Okay. Went to UC Berkeley, man. And I, okay. um, growing up in LA, just going to watch a comedy my whole life, you've been a part of that. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So watching you. So when I came back home and I, I ran into you, uh, I forget which comedy clip it was, but it was years ago. Yeah, and uh, it's just a, a, a great to be able to call you and ask you to come here. Yeah, Man, thank to be you. in that position in life, mm -hmm. thank so you. Like I can you know, look up to the, to the idols and the guys I looked up to growing up. Yeah, it was like, man, let me let me uh, see if he could be able to do the show. Took us, uh, you know, I wanted to get the show. We we've been we've been rocking for over yeah. a year now. So yeah, I mean, yeah. eighty five episodes. Wait, 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 hold on. So so it took y'all a year to get. No 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 no. no, 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 no. You know what? No, no, no. You know what? No, 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 no. We wanted to get the show. We wanted to get the show going. I got you. So we'd be sorry. You know what I'm saying? Because at first when you when, you, when you asked somebody to, for an hour at a time to come out and do something, mm -hmm. you don't want to waste it. You don't want to waste it. You want mm -hmm. them to feel like if we can show you an example or two or three or four of our show to, to let people know it's a real show, man. Yeah. We're trying to have people okay. out here well, come out here and have fun. Like I said, man, I appreciate it, man. And you got the hardest job because. You got to be, you are in the cast, yes. so you got to give cast perspective, uh -huh. and you got to put on your, your your film critic hat. Yeah, yes. yeah. right. Okay. Like yes. you know, so yes. Yes. you yes. so you, yes. you working double time. Okay, uh -huh. I, I don't mind it. I'm, yeah. I'm good. So I'm let's good. just get to it, man. Let's, I guess get on in here. Let's get on in here now. <laughs> oh, um, get on in here. Oh, uh, we are doing Outlaw Johnny Black. Yeah. Okay. Outlaw yeah. Johnny Black, man. Uh, written by. Byron Minns and Michael Jai White. Yes, Michael Jai yes. White. Shout out. Directed shout by Michael out. Jai White. Shout out. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, stars Michael Jai White, Buddy Lewis, Anika Noni Rose, mm -hmm. Erica Ash, and many others. Tommy Davidson. I um, mean, there's so many people. Your boy here. Tony Baker. Tony, Tony Baker. Tony shout Baker. Out to Tony Baker, man. Uh, man it's Gary a whole, Williams. Gary Williams. Get, yes. Man, Gary Williams, uh, yes. also known as Uncle Ruckus. Mm -hmm. Uncle Ruckus. Man, man, man Kim Whitley. He's Kim fantastic. Whitley. Come on. Yeah. Uh, Russell Peters. When Russell Peters. Yes. It's, it's a whole. And listen, at the very end, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, you got uh, two legends in there. You got Fred uh -huh. the Hammer yes. and, and, uh, yeah, and, and uh, uh, the, the late. Uh, late. Uh, um, Jim Jim Brown. Jim yeah. Brown. Yes. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yes, indeed, man. Um, this is uh a very entertaining piece of work, man. It's an interesting. Um movie. I knew this this to see that uh I remember why Michael J. White. The first I think my first experience with him was when he played Mike Tyson. Okay. And he was and, and yeah. most of the stuff I seen him in was was com was was was, was, was drama mm -hmm. and action. And martial arts. See, yeah. And martial arts mm -hmm. and to see him be able to Lead, uh, uh, well, I'm not surprised here because he he, he did a uh, um he did a uh, black dynamite, black dynamite, right? And even then, uh, why did I get married? Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Those things, but to see that he could do both, right? To see that he could do to me effortlessly, I, I think he's funny. I, I laugh at him, you know, and I and I definitely believe his seriousness, his his uh, his, oh, man. his his martial arts. Uh, Bona fides is yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's untouchable. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah I don't want yeah. no smoke. Yeah, no smoke. No smoke. Nice to do in the world, but man, he'll yes. whoop some ass. Exactly. Yes. And to see, the, man, to see you when he playing Deacon Fry, bro. I man, listen, just, man. We had a, you know, I met Mike. This is funny. Mike and I go back almost twenty years mm -hmm. when I first came to L.A. Uh huh. Um, Mike and I had the same manager. We were with uh, th this is this is crazy. Uh, we were with Topper Carew, mm -hmm. helped bring the Martin Show, and there's a lot of other uh, uh, managed a lot of few other careers. Yes. He brought stuff to fruition, um, and so Mike and I were on the same roster, right? You know, so I met Mike, and we used to work out at um, uh, the gym. 
24 Hour Fitness in Sherman Oaks. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I'm giving okay. them a shout without them paying mm-hmm. you. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's part of the, it's yeah, part okay. of the story. Okay. Yep. So uh, I met Mike and we see each other, and you know, he would come and and Mike, uh, as a matter of fact, is related to Kim Whitley. Mm. I think they're first cousins okay. or second that. cousins, okay. right? That's dope. Makes so sense. he would come to watch Kim and I perform when we did the Ha Ha Cafe back in the day. Right. And I I guess one night, man, I did something for Mike that tickled him. Like, you mm. know, and he still reminds me. He's like, buddy, the funniest thing I've ever seen in my name was the day you and Kim mm-hmm. really were doing something. And and I whatever I did that night tickled him that he's – uh, been gracious enough to put me in mm-hmm. uh, a few of his projects, yeah, and so uh, we did. That's dope. We did Black Dynamite, yes. which was a man, man, bro. Still one of the funniest yes. underground movies you'll yes. ever see. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I'm, mm-hmm. I mean, on that same level with like. Uh, I'm gonna get you sucker yeah. on Friday. Yeah. And, you to know, me, it's, 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 yeah. one it's, of those, it's, it's on the same level. The to same me, level. a lot of people put yeah. it in their top ten. Yeah. yeah, you know, if you get on those underground independent films, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, Hollywood Shuffle, Hollywood Shuffle yes. and even the white ones like uh, uh, Dynamite. I mean, not Dynamite. Uh, the with the kid, the Pedro, and all of the um, um, Black Dynamite. Bla- no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Black, Dynamite. Them, yeah Black Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite and all those kind of independent. And then just to me, those mm-hmm. movies yeah. are on the same level as the big mm-hmm. yeah. Hollywood films from from talent, from from story to, to this uh, performance. Hilarious! Like, it's a, if it's a comedy, got to be funny, right? Hilarious, and and that's that's what Black Dynamite was, man. We For had sure. a great time doing it, just mm-hmm. like this one. Mm-hmm. So so this brings up my first interesting question. Okay. For you. Okay. Is this a is this you can take this statement that I'm going to make and you could throw it immediately in the trash if I'm full of shit, right? Okay. Or if there's some merit to it, you can mm-hmm. honor that merit. Okay. Of course, it's all love for Michael Jai White. Right. I think that the outlaw Johnny Black suffers from being maybe the middle child or the stepchild to Black Dynamite. Mm-hmm. Because Black Dynamite is so funny. Right. The expectation on outlaw Johnny Black is that it's going to approach that level, mm-hmm. right? Right, right, right? And it's fundamentally a different film. True, true, right? True. Mm-hmm. Um, Outlaw Johnny Black is one half comedy, satire, uh-huh. but the other half is true and true Western. Right. Right? Like, right, you know? Right. And so I think because Outlaw Johnny Black doesn't go for the funny all the way, the way Black Dynamite does, mm-hmm. because of its honoring of a black, cowboy movie right it's got that it 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 feels like it's a step below yeah you know it because it's it it doesn't go for it comedically like they went I for like it every in black scene dynamite. in black dynamite was yeah comedy 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 for the yeah. opening anaconda beer you know mm-hmm. and all that but uh well i'll let you answer before i even go further no 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 i you know i you have a you have a good perspective mm-hmm. and and i think there is some of that due to the fact that Black Dynamite Man was a complete satire of a genre that African American people have all seen and loved. Mm-hmm. True. I think the Western genre is something that, unless you're a a real movie fan, mm-hmm. Westerns have their own True. lane, yeah, own lane, their yeah. own lane. Right. And so, in, unless you were, you know, like to this very day, man, the funniest thing I ever saw was the Outlaw Josie Wells, mm-hmm. even though it wasn't funny. Uh huh. When homeboy told that girl, that lady, "Hey, if you have to, do the old lady." I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> I screamed. Uh huh. Because right. it was like, "Hey, if you're gonna rape anybody, yeah. <laughs> rape the old lady." Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> cold shit. That's cold. That's a great thing to say. Yeah. What's some cold shit? That's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so <clears throat> I think westerns have their own sort of lane that you you are right brings you into a different look mm-hmm. of what it is because the expectation yeah. is oh it's going to be it's going to be uh black dynamite but it's right. it's, it's not because yeah. the genre is so different it's yeah. so different and uh most black exploitation films uh, as, uh, aside from especially all of the comedies were rip roaring like silly either awful silly mm-hmm. they were bad 
in the fact that you know they were cheap and they were made, mm -hmm. but you laughed at it. They right. were making a they were making jokes about even the the poor quality of the right. film. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. satire, hundred percent. It's fact, not like that with black. With, with, I mean, with the Howl about Johnny Black, yeah, because it's a different. That's a, and that's vibe. why we got you here because. I was I was I was on the same page with you, mm -hmm. and you just saying that makes me. I'm like, oh damn, I didn't think about that. It's a see black exploitation. We so I've been watching all of them from Dynamite to mm -hmm. Willie uh, Willie uh, Dolomite to Dolomite, Willie Dynamite Willie, mm -hmm. to uh, the Mac the Mac Shab and yeah, everything. Right, right. And so this, uh, and honestly, watching. Watching uh, Black Dynamite, it was basically watching one of those movies, yeah. but the a parody or the comedy version of that. Mm -hmm. And we've already been conditioned to to accept anything that comes our way. Now with now with uh with westerns, there are a few uh that Blazing are, Saddles. Blazing Saddles. That's the first one I was thinking yeah, about. Yeah. And but it is it is difficult for those who have never seen it before or even seen a Western comedy. Mm -hmm. To kind of yeah. see where you kind of have to like total a, se a separate line than than like a black like, dynamite is almost like a like a it's like, it's like a cookie cutter program to get into. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a black exploitation mm -hmm. film, mm -hmm. some pimps, players, yeah. afros, right, bell right, bottoms, right. and then uh, this. I feel like it's it's a, it's a little high, a heavier lift. It to, starts to off. heavier lift to get mm -hmm. a, a, a black western comedy off the ground yeah. and have us rock with every single scene. That's what I thought was interesting about this film. Because it starts off in that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The movie starts off like the first cousin yeah. of Black Dynamite. Right. The jokes come really heavy, yeah. really quickly mm -hmm. in the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. But then once we get to the town, it kind of becomes a true Western. Right. Like it changes its pace. Mm -hmm. And and then the comedy becomes a little bit less. And it really be kind of comes a story oh, yeah. of, of an outlaw finding himself. Yeah. Right? right. With some kind of like humor kind of sprinkled in. And so I think, and this could be a byproduct of the marketing, but because I came into it expecting Black Dynamite's first cousin, it took me a minute to adjust and then appreciate what I was watching in Outlaw Johnny Black. Me too. I had to mm -hmm. stop waiting for the joke and, and just, just watch had the movie. To, just had to watch the movie. <clears throat> and and that is the, you know, the quintessential uh brilliance of the movie mm -hmm. that you're not sucked into just the comedy. Mm -hmm. You start following the story. Mm -hmm. You know, like the story of this outlaw who yeah. who has a story. Right. And and man, that's that's good movie making to me. Mm -hmm. You know, that 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 you know, you're not just watching one thing the entire there isn't one beat. And this is the interesting thing also about Mike. Mike and and Byron when they write, man, or they 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 create a script. Like when we did the Outlaw Johnny Black, I can't tell you how many, I mean, um, Black Dynamite, mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times we had to be pulled back. Mm -hmm. Like we're going for jokes and then he's like, yo man, do it almost real. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's going to come out. And I, yeah. as, mm -hmm. as, a, as a comic, I'm sitting there yeah. going, yeah. no, Mike, let me go there. And he's like, no, man, mm -hmm. listen, bring it back and you'll see right. what he was trying to that do. Man, I can't sense. tell you how many times, you know, because you had straight up Lunatic comics on, right. this, on 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 that set. There yeah. was Tommy Davidson. Uh -huh. There was uh, Chris Spencer. Uh -huh. Daryl Heath. There, Heath. There, were, there were people in there. Man, mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 if you went through the like Legion of Pimps, Arsenio Hall yes. was in there. Yeah. There were a whole bunch of people in yeah. there that he had to. Kim Whitley, where he was like, "Listen, man, pull it back. Make sure you don't reach." Right. And so the same thing happened. In, in the outlaw, right. we weren't reaching. He was like, "Listen, man, I want you to keep it real because if you play it real, it would be more mm -hmm. humorous because mm -hmm. people true. are expecting the ah, you know, uh, you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. expecting the over the top. Yeah. You're expecting blazing saddles. You're expecting right. city slickers, but it's more subtle, and right. and you start following the story. Yeah. Nah, you're right, right. So ah. I think I think I think uh, you you said kind of bastard child and what I want to go is I think it's just the fact that the movie's different. Yeah. It's a different vibe. Yeah. And also um the the whole Western genre is different. Mm -hmm. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's yeah. just, you know, when you you never you're looking for the story in a Western. What happened, Shane? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you exactly, know, exactly, exactly. You know, Bastard it, it's, son, yeah, who killed uh, yeah, who, yeah. coming back to Ponderosa, Ponderosa, avenge, you know, mm -hmm. avenge his father's right, death. Right, yeah. right, right, right. That's so, it, you know, yeah. and it's very and, and and Mike, you don't realize, man, how 
westerns um, are really martial arts movies. Oh yeah, in the West for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. the same old thing. Hey, you took father's rice cakes. Hey, you stole my you stole my father's cattle. You right, got right. My, my 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 dad's land. Yeah. Exactly. It's the whole. It's it's that same. Lone, a loner comes to town. Loner comes to town. Yeah. Avenges the whole town. Yeah. 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 What protects I, the people. Yeah. Exactly. What I love about westerns is so many movies that that you don't realize are westerns, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Kill Bill is a western. Yeah. For sure. Right. Yeah. Like Kill Bill. Like the the concept, it's you know she's elsewhere doing all and they've got all the style, but it's a western at heart, right? right. As far and as so, the formula, it, exactly right. the formula that it follows. So that's why I think that like they call this film the the spiritual sequel to Black Dynamite. That's what I saw in a couple of taglines, and that's the only thing that I disagree with. Right? Mm-hmm. It's not. It's its okay. own. It's its, its own, own situation. Thing. Right. And I think like if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, <laughs> almost like compartmentalize and put black dynamite into like a, a section of your brain so that you can watch this movie right. with with like like clear lenses. Mm-hmm. Right? Because what you'll do is you'll go, oh, this ain't as funny as Black Dynamite. Mm-hmm. And and that's unfair. That's, yeah, what, sure I, that's unfair. what I did. It's unfair to, to Black Dynamite and to this film. It's a little unfair because uh I think you are really, really connected especially as black people to the genre itself mm-hmm. uh black dynamite i mean the outlaw johnny black is not the same doesn't have the same connection with our community as a black exploitation film would have mm-hmm. yeah. so i think i, I think yeah you got to you got to kind of i would uh, keep it 100 take take it take it out mm-hmm. and go hey man let me just watch this movie to watch let me this just movie watch it, and watch watch it. it. Yeah. Right. i'm going to take it 100 it's not they didn't come right after each other but like friday and um uh, rush hour. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I love the rush hours. Not the same way I like Friday. Right. Mm-hmm. Two different types of movies. Mm-hmm. Same character as far as Chris Tucker. Um, and um, very similar <laughs> energy a little bit as far as Smokey mm-hmm. and, and Carter. Mm-hmm. But it's a different movie. So I had to take out of my mind. This is not Smokey. Yeah. Right. This is a whole different movie. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And so like, yeah. and, and watching for for that. So in watching uh uh Outlaw Johnny Black, I noticed. The fun, like, I agree. That's how I do my comedy. I don't like. I don't like. I like a, a lot of the over top, over the top. Hey, mm-hmm. loudness. I try to keep it as 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 realistic as possible and find the funny in the conversation, mm-hmm. in the dialogue, and what you're saying, mm-hmm. or the facial expression, even. Right. But like, um, and I feel like that works too. It, both work. I love mm-hmm. over the top. Mm-hmm. It, it works. out. just a guy. My boy. Shout out to Tyree Spivey. He's over the top. Uh, mm-hmm. Stand up comic mm-hmm. right. and actor. He's always loud and very boisterous and. Mm-hmm. I love that too. I, there's a place for that for sure. Mm-hmm. Not, not in an empty room or at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is the funniest thing to me to see comics man who had that energy mm-hmm. at like you know the the late show at the improv, mm-hmm. you know at the in the belly room. They're yep. like, yeah. ah, you like the Folks people like this. Like, what's wrong yeah. with it? Why yeah, you yeah, screaming? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta yeah, choose the time and place for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there is there definitely a time and place for that? Yeah, a time yeah. and place. For and that. I I love it. I love I love all forms of comedy. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm of sorry. course. Just... No, 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 no. no I'm good. <laughs> and um, and so when I watch this and I see one of the things that thought I thought was hilarious, and I don't think it was supposed to be, when he started roundhouse kicking the dudes in the town doing karate. <laughs> right, right. I said the cowboy doing karate mm-hmm. is hilarious. He, he had to put that in there because he knows martial arts. Yeah, bro. yeah. He's a professional martial right. artist, and yeah. he was like, "Man, let me go ahead and do That's some what he do." I, I thought I I I, I died laughing, bro. What? Yeah, when he what, that when he and the one that had me laughing the funniest when he kept smacking the dude with the with the you know the, with, with the, and he was taking his gun out and yeah smacking yeah. him yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, this Michael that's great crazy nah, that's great he's hilarious I gotta ask you this because I have okay. a part of the cast here okay this is one of the, the first thing that threw me off I was like oh my gosh when the Indian dude was white. Mm-hmm. I said I got very disappointed. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. So I have to ask you to make things change. <laughs> right, these could change right now. Yeah, that had to be on purpose. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. it had to be because mm-hmm. back in the day That's they would gag. have white boys play Indians yep. all the time. That's so the I, gag. I said this must be. A, it was a he gag. must That's uh, the gag. okay. I was, was like, my, there's no way. Yeah. It was a gag. Michael. Uh, Brother White has way more sense. Bro. If anything, gets the Mexicans to play the That's Native the Americans, but Bro. don't get. It, it had to be on purpose. Oh, it was on purpose. So That's I, the okay, absurdity. there we go. Yeah, yeah. The absurdity. Yeah. When I saw it the first time, I saw the white dude getting slapped around. I was like, yeah. 
What's it, why, why would he do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it took me out. It took me out. Yeah. yeah. And then I kept seeing them. I said, oh, this is, a, I saw more of them. I said, oh, this is okay. It's, yeah. It has to be on purpose. If I can get Buddy Lewis to come here and tell me what's going oh, on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, yes. that, and that is the, that is the subtle uh, absurdity that you said and comedy that Mike puts in the films that you go, Oh, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Wait a minute. That was like, yeah. like, I don't remember it. Like if you, rem- th- like the silly stuff you don't catch was like, uh, in, uh, black dynamite, Kim Whitley is sitting there crying and, and a tear rolls down her face. And then if you notice on the, the next take, the tears on the other yeah. side. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, that type of work. it's, it's like that little, type of work. damn it. I don't think I said that kind of work, man, mm-hmm. where you go, you go, oh my God. Like there was one line where the, he's like, Hey little girl, what's your name? Da, 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 da. And he's like, black dynamite. And she's like, that's my daddy's name. Mm-hmm. And then he says yeah. to her, uh, there are a lot of kids, daddy's <laughs> name, yeah, black yeah, dynamite, yeah. little girl. <laughs> Hush up girl. Hush up girl. Mm-hmm. It was just, yeah. it was just silly <clears throat> stuff like, like little that. Nuggets. Mm-hmm. Okay, little yeah. nuggets. Okay. Little nuggets. And Mike does that in his movies. As he should. And, yeah. and, and, and if you catch him, you go, it does one or two things to you. You go, that's so stupid. Or you go, wait a minute, man, that's messed up. Mm-hmm. But it was, if you understand the mentality of what he's doing, yeah. you realize. And, that I, was, and I promise you, after getting disappointed, I was like, okay, he did this on purpose. He's doing, mm-hmm. he's doing like, because a lot of, back in the day, every every year, uh, every African and or Spanish dude or Middle Eastern guy was played by a white boy right. back mm-hmm. in the day. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and you know what I'm saying? Native American in these in these Westerns a lot of times. So that's okay. That's him paying homage to that yeah. whole situation. It, it, it makes sense. Now I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Um, <laughs> there was a thing. Uh, damn. I, I, I just had it in my mind. It'll come back to me. Uh, uh, Russell Peters playing the Indian. That's yeah, hilarious. That's great. That was a, that's a great joke. And that's what he's an that's, East Indian. That's a great joke. Playing an and Indian. that's why I was like, oh, he's just, he's clowning. He's Michael clowning. J. White is clowning. That's yeah. a great joke. Mm-hmm. And again, like you know, like I hate to sound like a broken record, <laughs> but like all of this happens like in the first fifteen minutes of the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're cooking. Yeah. Right, like we're we're cooking, and then again, it, and then it becomes a different kind of movie, right? Yeah. Like we talk about Michael's brilliance with satire; it's here. Yeah, this is a heavy lift because yeah. he's trying to he's trying to be the spiritual sequel to Black Dynamite, mm-hmm. while also putting it in a in a in an unusual genre, which is a western, western. Mm-hmm. while also paying homage to the western. While also delivering a message, the movie has a message as well. Mm-hmm. So it's a serious movie. At the same time, it's a funny movie. At the same time, it's a ludicrous movie. At the, you know, and so it's all of these. It's a heavy lift. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a. It's, it's a. It's really. To, it's a really. In in wine, they call it an unusual pairing, mm-hmm. right? Right. This mm-hmm. this this mm-hmm. movie pairs a lot of things that you don't think would naturally go together. And I think you have to watch the movie again through a very specific lens, Mm -hmm. remove your expectation to appreciate what it is. Right. 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 I think that this movie has phenomenal performances. Oh yeah. I think that Erica Ash and Anika Tony Rose kill it. Erica Ash. They kill it. Let me tell you something, man. Uh, Now I work with Erica on, uh, the Real Husbands of Hollywood. She mm-hmm. played uh, Kevin's wife in the, you know, mm. and, and Erica Ash is one of the most underrated, uh, phenomenal improv slash actresses in the game. Yeah. And and I and I mean, she is phenomenal, bro. She is she's quick. You know, yeah. some of the stuff you see her do on you know on set is like. <laughs> like there was one time when she I don't know if you noticed there was one moment where she gets mad at Mike because she realizes he's the, mm-hmm. the wrong guy right. Mm-hmm. right and all she does is yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah man when we were on set <laughs> we it, it broke the everybody was broke now like okay if she don't stop mm-hmm. we, she is phenomenally hilarious yeah. and and mm-hmm. I I love her because she's so talented man levels and and it's the levels she gave me everything she, she gave me that. so many different types of right. performance 
Like she gave me silly, she gave yeah. me sexy, she yes. gave me innocent, she gave me savage. Mm -hmm. Like when she was out there shooting that shotgun, she yeah. had the most kills. She was yeah. Like, oh, and, she should be in action films. Yeah. Like, yeah. She, she should do with that. And just uh, the fact that she was able to, I, as a because like, like I said, I knew that Anika Nani Rose was in it. But she's great too, right? Man. But and when the, she came on scene, I was like, oh, and her because yeah. I was already yeah. filled up with Erica Ads. Yeah. I was like, she's yeah. doing that. I, I'm thinking. I don't know how the story's gonna go, so I'm thinking she is the love interest. Yeah, I'm thinking how is she going? She's in love with this dude. They uh, both are. Right, 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 right. right, right. But right. I didn't know there was gonna be a second woman. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. So when I was like, oh, <laughs> Erica asked first of all, for one, she's beautiful. Right. And um, I was like, oh, she's definitely the leading. She's the she's the the love interest in this film. She, so when you gave me both of them, I was like, oh man. When the Nika came in, yeah. and the Nika gave me all performing, like, it was no no sad, no no silliness. Yeah. It was and that and that's why it's hard. It's a heavy lift because she made it feel like a uh, uh, drama. Like romance. Right. A dramatic action, romantic right. action yeah. film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because their yeah. their interaction between each other was so different between Bessie Bessie Lee right. and, and, and Johnny Black mm -hmm. right. was silly, funny. Yeah. I, I I thought it was dope. Jesse Lee and, and, and Johnny Black was all like real yeah. life drama, <laughs> and I thought that was a that, that's dope how they it, 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 and it still worked for me. Yeah, it wasn't as funny as a lot of the, the scenes in in um, Black Dynamite because it wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be what this is, and I think it right. was like a a, 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 a rom com slash parody <laughs> slash mm -hmm. uh, romantic action. Satire, right. mm -hmm. It was right. everything. It was mm -hmm. a few th different things. That's why I might have felt like different films. Yeah, like when it's on the switch for me, mm -hmm. Erica Ash. Like she's she's my MVP of the movie. Come on, you, you jumping the gun? Right. You, yeah, yeah. You I mean, like, but, but yes. And and, and, and <clears throat> what I mean by that is is that I was blown away by her performance. Yeah, right. I mean, and right. I and I don't know if I had seen her before, right? But I was like, oh, she's got all the moves. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Like you know, like like yes. every now and then you come up, like we were talking about golf before mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. the, the show started. I know that they tired of us talking about golf. But mm -hmm. when you go out there and play with somebody and you're like, yo, he can he can swing all the clubs. Right. right. He's got all the shots. Right. right. Like he he's he's good pitching. He's good from the fairway. He's good off the tee. He's he's a great putter. That's what I was looking at when I was seeing Eric Ash. I was like, damn, she's got all the boxes checked. Right. As a performer, yeah, and it's and it's this performance that like now has sucked me back into the movie, right? Right, like right. You know, whereas before I was like, okay, what we what was going on? Well, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to get my bearing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just right, trying to yeah. get my bearing, and it's her performance that that kind of anchors it a little bit on the on the comedy side. It's Anika Rose's work that kind of anchors it, and Glenn Turman's work that kind of anchors it on mm -hmm. the serious side, right. right? And so I think that like those very strategic performances, and then of course what Tony Baker and them do, then become the pillars of the movie. And right. now, now I'm on good standing. And, and man, you know what's crazy? And you hanging your legs out that window. And there were some other actresses, man, that did that that were in the movie. Mm -hmm. Like like my girl Wendy Davis. She didn't get to expand her, but she's a just a phenomenal actress. Mm -hmm. Kim Whitley did mm -hmm. her thing, man. Yes. That, when I tell you, man, there were so many great moments in this film, man, mm -hmm. where people got to got to stretch and you got to see people work, man. And and that's uh, again part of Mike's uh ability not only to write but to direct give people room to 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 uh showcase what they do but but in the confines of what he wants as a director so uh -huh. so it was it was it was an incredible it, it was an incredible experience man and I'm going to tell you something man we were out there uh, I, I wish I yeah, could Yeah where did you shoot? Where did you guys shoot mm -hmm. it? Uh we were out in a place uh, that's this Western studio that's mm -hmm. out in Canyon Country. It's yeah, just, oh, okay. Just um, north of Pasadena, uh, we're going east. Yeah, and uh, and you had to wind your way back in there, man. And and it was the craziest thing, bro. When you went mm -hmm. back in there, there you see like ranch houses. You're like, oh dang, mm -hmm. they got their these. I mean, these people it, still live out there. These no. people live out there, and you go. And this was what was strange. Is it was like. Man, there's only one way in, one way out of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let us not mm -hmm. let us not set nothing on fire. <laughs> right, 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 right. Because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but but man, we uh, real nice uh, fake place out there mm -hmm. in, in Canyon Country. But it took a minute to get there, up mm -hmm. to fourteen, and then yeah, out. Okay. But but it was it was Off really yeah. And man, you know what? There are 
four or five studios like this one. There are sets. Mm -hmm. Like, if you look to the right, there's like a Disney or some studio that has the same kind of town mm -hmm. slash yeah. setup. And right. then there, there yeah. are like three or four mm -hmm. setups that are that are for like where they shoot um disasters and all that kind of stuff mm, out there in that, yeah. in, that, in that area. I think they That's shot dope. I think they shot Nope out there. Yeah. yeah out really? that way. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like okay. off of Dolce. Man. You know what I mean? Like off there off the 14. Like I live oh. out that way. Right. So, uh -huh. you know, so we know oh, that snap. they're yes, right. they're always shooting um and even though like Santa Clarita is like perfect for the suburbs, it does have that that rustic you know, yeah. where you can get off and you can okay. get that mm -hmm. that Western feel. You know, you get a couple That's of good dope. sets. And yeah, yeah man, you, you put out you put some stuff out there. You can be in a desert, you can be in an mm -hmm. apocalyptic yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I've seen everything out there with That's you know, where they have those studios all set up. So mm -hmm. uh as you go to toward Valencia and Santa Carita mm -hmm. and 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 uh, Canyon Country, there are there there are you would be shocked. There. There's stuff out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have to audition or you know what? I'm not going to tell a lie now. Yeah, I didn't think so. Mike, right. Mike called well, he, me. You know, and, you're and, 20 and, years, bro. Yeah. yeah he's <laughs> I mean, auditioning. Yeah. yeah. In the friendship. It's almost in, in the relationship. It won't be the audition. And he gave, me the, he gave me the script. He said, buddy, read this. I was like, oh, snap. This is crazy. What, when are you going to do this? And then he brought me in, actually, because <laughs> he did a trailer first. He was making a sizzle reel mm -hmm. because Mike was going to use this film. I, I, and I, I'm, we did the... We did the the sizzle because Mike, I think, was trying to start a, his company. I think it's called Gigantor or Gigantic mm -hmm. Films. Yeah, he was gonna do uh, this film was going to be like the the, the anchor, anchor for mm -hmm. him and his production company as well. So I think he ended up getting a little bit of uh, leverage with other companies to say, "Hey, man, this is the kind of film we're gonna do." Blah mm -hmm. blah blah, based on the trailer because. We shot the trailer, I want to say, in, um, it was like 2017 mm -hmm. or oh, 18. Wow. Yeah. And then he didn't do the movie until like 2019. Mm. So it was, there was a gap between when he shot the trailer and then yeah. a small gap. And then, right. cause I, I remember it was cold as hell. For the trailer. When, when we shot the trailer, okay. it was mm -hmm. ice cold. And then we went back out there, it was freezing. Oh. I mean, it was hot. summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so it was freezing. We shot the, the sizzle and then it was it was asshole hot when we uh -huh. did. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wanted asshole to say hot. I remember when I met Satan's ass. I would see him a few times because he's real close to my partner Clayton and Tangerine. Right. right. And right. I saw him at, at their house one time for some event. Mm -hmm. And we I seen him a few times at comedy clubs and stuff like uh -huh. that. But like as far as that time we actually met, and he was like, bruh, I got a role for you in right. the movie I'm doing. This was years ago. This might have been when when Clayton and Tangerine first got their place, their house. They right, bought a okay. house out there in the NoHo. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm with it. Of course, it's right, my right, wife, right, for right, sure. Right. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this was the project. I Probably so. It this is years cool. before, it, but like man, you said. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. If Mike said that to you, mm -hmm. he means it. Uh -huh. And it might not have been either one it of them. It might these. not have been that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm waiting. I'm it, here. It, uh, so, so, cause Mike is like that, man. He'll see you somewhere. He'll see something and he'll be like, yo, man, I saw this guy, you know, yeah. cause I, he's, um, like, man, do you know this guy that da 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 da? And you'll ask him and he'll, because he has it in his yeah. mind. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use I'm this the same person. Way. And, and, and so if he, if he, if it wasn't one of these, and he said, I'm going to, and that's one thing. Mike is one of those genuine people, man, that yeah. uh, I believe he if he like says, hey, man, I got something for you, right. he actually has something for, for you. For sure. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've been fortunate uh, that I'm I'm at the, I, I guess I'm like part of the crew. You know how you have a crew? Of course. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah you definitely you know, part of the ensemble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, an ensemble, yeah. You know, and I, so I think... Um, he has things that he has in mind for me uh -huh. that he's going to do. Because like he did a, we just had a screening at his house, and I at the end of the screening because he he didn't he didn't put me in this one mm -hmm. right. So I went, you know, Mike. The only thing this movie needs is more Buddy Lewis. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You talking about another another he's project? Got another project mm -hmm. that's coming yeah. out soon. That's like a um, uh, it's an action movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but. Little comedy, but but let's say like it's like imagine 
Don't 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 trip off that NDA. Yeah, don't yeah, no, don't I'm say not, too yeah. much. No, no, I'm not saying too much. <laughs> All right. But I'm just saying it's it's on the genre of uh the outlaw Johnny Black, but it's mm. modern, like, you know, okay. like it has yeah. the a modern feel to it kind okay. of thing. So I so, love it. Yeah. So I was gonna but, say that but, to... but 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 if he says I and I believe it, if Mike says he got something for you, just oh, see yeah, him at sure. see him at the gym or something, be like, yo man, what? Whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. For sure. I, I'm down. I'm, I'm ready too. For sure. John, um, you fit. You fit in a bunch of different genres. Yeah. Right? Hey man, hopefully. Like, you know, yeah. Hopefully. Like uh, I could see Ja and like uh, like playing like like a goon and like a Harlem Knights remake. Oh yeah. Man. Right. Definitely. Ooh, a remake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. You want to touch that? I could also that? see you being mm-hmm. like the bad guy's muscle and yeah. a, a black western. Man. Uh-huh. Right. Like yeah. you know. And you know what, man? This is the one thing about Ja, man. People don't realize, man. You have a, you have an unusual ability to to be serious, oh, man. and so yeah. people don't don't. I don't think they they've had an, the chance mm-hmm. to experience your range, mm-hmm. and so I see it in the sketches right. where you go from being, hey baby, you know, I just took mm-hmm. this, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. berserk uh-huh. to, yeah, uh, you know, right, whatever, right. get out, you know. Uh-huh, so yeah, so yeah. man, it's that range that I think eventually they're going to find things for you that. You will be able to show because that's what everybody sees is the gangster. Mm-hmm. But the 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 reality is when you can play the soft gangster, right. when you can play the right. the oh this ain't what you actually mm-hmm. see uh-huh. is a is a is an art. Yeah. yeah, and that's the beauty of like <clears throat> I said, and that's what I guarantee you. If Mike has something for you, mm-hmm. it'll be something like that where you're like, yo man, I'm playing a soft gangster. Yeah, bro, yeah. that's what mm-hmm. I mean. No, I'm, so, I'm, yeah. man, Cause, I'm, I'm with Cause it. Ja, you do you do subtle very well. Yes, Thank like you, like yes. like you do subtle very well. It. Yes, you do like measured frustration uh-huh. very well. Yeah. Right, like uh-huh. and again, I think I, to agree, like and that's unusual for a man of your size, right, to be able to play subtle. Right, right. It's almost. It feels like an oxymoron. It feels yeah, like I a agree. paradox, right? I agree. Yeah. Big usually goes big. Big, yeah. But for big to go. You know, modest in some cases, right? You know, like it's, it's it's very interesting, especially after watching all of these films and seeing all of these different actors. Mm-hmm. It's it's a very unusual trait that I think is unique to and, you. And man, big guys, man, I, I'm, like not, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, a statured people, man, have this thing, man, where you have to do one or two things, man. You when you walk into a room. Your aura fills up the room. Right. So sometimes, man, you have to walk in and you find yourself making yourself small mm. to to mm. uh, make people, people feel comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And 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 it's a pro. It's a it's a it's a thing because like one of the things I always get is like, buddy, you're mean. I'm like, dude, I'm not. I mean, right. It's bro- I I can't help it if you're you're intimidated by my aura, dude. That's what that's, it is. That, but, I, but dude, I've done nothing to make you, I, bro. I'm not mean. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm not angry. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I'm actually like, bro. I'm, they call I, me buddy. They call they me buddy. buddy. <laughs> exactly. They call me Perfect buddy. Perfect example. Dude, dude, <laughs> of a, of a, so, don't. And I tell you, man. And I say this to you, you know, as and as experienced. Don't ever fit. Get into that energy where you. Come into a room and you get small, mm-hmm. B- bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, I feel you. Be big, yes, sir. And let them and let these people around you get into your energy as mm-hmm. opposed to you. Hey, I'm gonna make and and, and it's almost the it's the Suge Knight thing, man. You gotta right. come in and be like, hey, man, man. I want to get into you because you're so the power. I'm attracted to the power, right? And mm-hmm. and that's the way you gotta come into a room and live. When you go to parties, when you go to things, when you go, don't let the, you're on set. Right. Don't let people make you cower. Minimize, minimize. Minimize your, your, your yeah. Because, yeah. bro, you'll do this, you you don't even realize, you, you don't even realize it, how subtle it is. You'll do that, you do that shit in pictures. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me get down here and yeah, get down here. Yeah. yeah, you get down there all to, low. Yeah, yeah as opposed nah, to, you right. know, so, so I say that to say, man, just, don't ever, don't ever bite that energy, man. Right. Don't bite that. Nah, man. Uh, thank you so both of y'all for that. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I wanted to say this in piggybacking off what you said about this new movie that he has that mm-hmm. he doesn't have you in. One of my mm-hmm. critiques on this film, Johnny Black, Outlaw Johnny Black, is we didn't have enough of you and Tommy Davidson and Kim Whitley. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now here's the thing, and that's a and here's the thing. That's yeah, a that's we a, didn't, and that's a and, and that, I, I think that's a good problem to have. Right, because your your cast is so strong, 
And you got so many people in only an hour and a half to tell a story. You got so, so he, I'm and sure. And you're he, telling two different stories. You're telling two different stories. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's like, you got to fit the, the backstory in with the, mm -hmm. with the, uh, mm -hmm. with the, uh, I'm sorry, what's his name is, um, the killer, uh, the guy that killed his father. Um, um Clayton, not Clayton, Clayton. not Clayton. Yeah. Clayton. Clayton is the guy that owns the town. Right. And the, 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 the killer, I forget his name. Tom uh, Sheely owns, owns the town. Tom Sheely owns the town. Clayton down. was the, was the guy. You're right. Yeah. The, right. the, 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 mm -hmm. the gun. Yeah. And you got, it's so many things to tell. There's right. So, so many parts of the story to tell, but I'm just being greedy because I wanted right. more. Mm -hmm. I wanted more of, uh, of Kim Whitley, uh, Tommy Davidson, you, and because that's where the funny is. I want two you versions know? of this movie. Right, right, right. right? That's what it is. Like I, that's <laughs> to, keep, to keep it 100, I want two versions. Yeah. I want I want the I want the spiritual sequel to Black Dynamite. I want them guys yeah. going all out, give me all the jokes mm -hmm. from yeah. from opening credits to closing credits. Right. I want that version, but I also want Michael Jai's western Right, right. Like I, I, I want, yes. I want both of them. Mm. Right, um, and I think that, like, like when we talk about wanting to see them, Tommy Davis and Kid Willie, yeah, it's because they're in that version of the movie that stays that way. Like mm -hmm. we get kind of like a, like we get a fork in the road, and and Michael Jai just keeps going straight. Right, right, right. right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, we don't, we don't go straight comedy. We don't go, you know, straight western. He just punches down the middle. It's why. The homage, the respect. It's it's interesting when we get to the to the end of the movie, and Jim Brown is right. there, right? He's doing he, he's doing a lot. He's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do so much, bro. Yeah, go because, ahead. Because because he's he's put him there because in my mind, and and you would know, as a director, I made a movie a western to honor these black Come western on, stars, Come right? On. Absolutely, which is kind of different than the DNA of a spiritual sequel to Black Dynamite, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can't you know, do both. You can't, really, really. You know, Mm, you, you know can you, obviously you, you, he did true true but true. that's that's the that's the rub and that and you can't do both meaning like now I'm sitting I wanted this I wanted that yeah you can't yeah have everything yeah yeah and the, and here's what I think why you don't and I'm probably saying more than I should say but I think Mike is going to do a prequel there perfect, you go to Black Dynamite so so mm -hmm. it's not um. We were we were joking about it, man. You need to do. A, I, I was joking. I was mm -hmm. like, "Yo, man, you should do a prequel." And da, da, da. he's like, "Shh, buddy." Be mm -hmm. ah, nah. mm -hmm. Don't so, say so it. he all of that. I think that's on his slate. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. and I think he wants to do something uh, because the people are clamoring for like more black dynamite because the right. character was so strong. Like so they, strong. They, 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 he the, went from the, a movie to a cartoon. And so we, yeah. we, I think we like to see more black dynamite. This, I think had its own, mm -hmm. its own lane. I want more of this too. Yeah, and, right. you, and, you, <laughs> you, and, and you, but, but yeah. it was, it was, I think that's what he's trying to do. I'm yeah. So it's a real, yeah. a real prequel yeah. to, right. to black dynamite as opposed to some, uh, uh, abstract kind of lame mm -hmm. uh -huh. sort of you know uh, n nice crispy kind of mm -hmm. this is almost like it <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, yeah. like you say I, yeah, I, 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 we great. want more of it if, if this movie wasn't something to want more of I probably it wouldn't be this long of, of a conversation yeah right but because I was I saw certain well, I knew you were going to be in it I knew Kim Whitley was going to be in it I was like oh mm -hmm. they're come about on. to show out they're about to show out mm -hmm. and, and and we got we got a, we got the story. The story was clear. It was crisp. I love the setup of yeah. having Percy be the reverend, and then him getting killed in Black Dynamite. I mean, excuse me, Johnny Black. Mm -hmm. Johnny Black thought he was dead. We thought he was dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm not stealing. I'm just taking your identity I mean, of a dead man to right. keep myself out of prison. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I get it. It's dope. And he gets to this town. I would have loved for you to play Tom Shelley, even though. <laughs> Barry Boxwood, yeah. Boxwood he, he killed it. He did his thing. Right. He did his thing, but I wanted, I wanted more of you. Man, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. I, you know what? I think, uh, like, I tried to have my moments, man, you know, on camera. Like, like there was something. You did. Like, you did. Mike mm -hmm. my, 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 my told me, he said, buddy, every time he told me, he said, while they were editing, mm -hmm. he kept hearing me go, let him lose you. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. right, 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 right. It was right, just right. silly. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. while we were filming, we were shooting, you know, we were silly, but like I think, man, the thing was there are so many stories to tell that he's trying to wrap up, you know, of from course. A to B that I think it 
I think the town people were more or less a a uh, a smaller mm-hmm. part of right. the real story. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you had to fight. Like I was, I told Mike I was mad. I was like, man, how come I didn't get more fight scene? Mm-hmm. I want, I wanted, to, I wanted one. I want, I, I, you know, man, when you're when you're doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And you see it, you always go, "Hey man, why why not in the mm-hmm. do why, more of that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why not in the? Because right. I, I think there were a couple of, I did some silly stuff while we were doing the fight. You know, mm-hmm. while the, the mm-hmm. town was having the big fight, <laughs> right. I was doing silly stuff that didn't get caught on camera, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh man, did you mm-hmm. see what I did?" Mike was, "No, nah, we missed it." I'm like, "Oh mm-hmm. man, I did so and so." You know, so we, but but man, we had so much fun. Of man. course, yeah, and and. In hindsight, in looking back, you know, you always feel like, one, I could have done something funnier or I could have been in more. Mm-hmm. But, but um, I think that was part of why I was you, like Mike draws you back you know right. it's like because mm-hmm. you know you're thinking you're doing all this and and, and he didn't need it he, he got to still tell the story i, I, I still yeah. got to tell the story and as a writer and director i promise you i find myself writing character and i got i got a crew right i have a few people who i almost every any project you've seen me mm-hmm. uh, create is gonna be these people also. in there right. yeah. Yeah. and i'm like dang i only can have i can't i gotta i gotta change this up because i still got i'm already at 100 i'm only on 60 pages already and i already I got, got a service yeah so I, I don't want to go over it and i've been mm-hmm. going over I, I'm, I'm writing the project right now where i'm 131 pages in Woo! Mm-hmm. And, oh, Jesus. And, and i gotta bring it down <laughs> to like 85 yeah yeah so yeah. i gotta cut some stuff out which means yeah. some of the stuff that's brilliant to me and is hilarious me and my boy ken we're both writing it together and we laughing we just dying laughing man tears in our eyes like, to this we very gotta cut day, some bro, of this out i to this very day i'm, I'm gonna give you another prop job that that's Stuff you bury and um, when y'all mix up the words, minx, yeah, mi- yeah. oh, minx, y'all. I appreciate it. it. That's just quality. Tears, bro. Quality. Tears, bro. I Thank still you, to this very day. I say, I say, Mises, 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 and Mises, 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 Mises. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta call Pesco, yeah, yeah, bro. But that, but Thank that, you, man. but 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 that's the beauty. I think that comes with filmmaking, right? And and writing is is. You don't actually know when you're putting it on paper what it's going to look like when it until it's right. shot. Yeah, yeah. It's a three different, it's a, it's a three it, different it, movies, right? It's, it's the one really, you write, the one you shoot, and the one you chop up. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, yep. The, okay. And, and, that, and that's always that's always the story. Yep. I have a question for y'all. Okay. Of uh, for both of you, because you guys are both doers, mm-hmm. obviously. Right. Writer, actor, mm-hmm. comedian, writer, actor, right. comedian, right. filmmaker, right. And so, you know, it's an easy it it's a it's an interesting conversation from people that are that are both doing to talk about the process of right. doing, right? Yeah. The people that watch this podcast love black movies, mm-hmm. love black stories. And I bet you there are some people that are that watch the podcast that would love to tell their own story. Mm-hmm. They, they that's why they watch so many movies, right? right. right? True. And they go, I would do that or I would write that. What's your advice for the people that haven't started yet, that love black films, that love black stories, that want to, you know, do a, a black comedy or black apocalypse or black sci-fi that haven't started yet. As people that have gotten off the starting block, what's your what's your advice? What what are one or two things that you would recommend for those that haven't started mm-hmm. as what they can maybe start doing today or tomorrow? To 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 start to walk that path. Love that question. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you answer. You, 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 I'm gonna let you answer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer after you. Uh, and, I, and I got to And that's gonna. The, your answer is gonna help me go into another line of question. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm looking at. I'm looking across at one of the people that that I'm 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 sorry if you feel like I'm blowing smoke, man, but this is really real. All of these talented people who are influencers on the internet mm-hmm. that's your that's your, that's your lane bro i'm a, i'm a 60 year old man that doesn't really man i you know i don't i don't know how to pl- i didn't i didn't learn how to play on the phone right i didn't learn how to edit in a, in a heartbeat i didn't learn i'm still learning all of that i'm trying to pick all of that up right to increase my social media presence mm-hmm. because that is the way you 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 get down now that's the get down okay um if you are a person that's trying to tell your story, you've got to 
learn how to create something for social media. And so if it's a if it's a two minute piece of your movie, mm -hmm. if it's a one page uh, part of your script, mm -hmm. you got to take that out, shoot it. And, 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 so. and that doesn't take you. You don't need to be in L.A. You don't need to be in New York. You don't need to be in Atlanta. You don't need you don't need superstars mm -hmm. to do. If you got an interesting piece, mm -hmm. and you're a film director, hey man, go, go to your go to go to your acting class, and 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 get people that want to do something and right. do it and do it and yeah. do it. If if you go to your writing class and get. You're active. Go to a writing class and, hey, man, hey, man, help me write. I want to write. I don't know how to write. Let me get with me. Help me. You, bro, you've got to take advantage of what's available to you. Mm -hmm. And the phone is, a bro, you can shoot a movie <laughs> on an iPhone. It's ridiculous, it's proof right? in the pudding, bro. Yeah. And, 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 you can go and, see it. It's all over so, the internet. So, they shoot their commercials on shoot, it. Yes. Bro, so I say, they got the setup, man. I saw mm -hmm. them the other day, man. The dude has got this harness where he's got his high phone in the harness that's on a steady cam, bro. I'm like, oh snap, yeah, bro. The the technology is advancing, and and to anybody that's asking, well, how do I do it? Listen, man, stop asking how and go get it done. Right. Start, bro. You can just start. start. Bro, just you can start answer that question. You you, you you go shoot yourself, oh, man. A great answer, bro. And I mean, I mean, bro. And I I'm saying you can set a phone on a table, bro, with a mm -hmm. tripod and and do a documentary about yourself. Yeah. Yes. Just you start. Can, just start, bro. Just, just start. Stop, stop asking how I get it done and go get it done. Right. That's perfect. And and so I, I you know to and 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 That's bro perfect. as a like I said, as an older dude in the game, man, I'm I'm still sometimes caught up in old school thinking, mm -hmm. you know, and I need to jump out and break out of the the old school way that was done before. You know, you need right. the studio and this, and you it need needs an, to look an a agent. certain way. You need, a you need all of this bullshit. And I'm sorry if I'm cursing nah, on the no, podcast, no, man. No, but, please. But, Fuck but, that. But, but, <laughs> but, right. But you don't need all of that stuff, man. You don't need all that stuff. It's inspiring, man. I mean, it's a kid <clears throat> making money on the internet, bro, opening freaking toys. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what yes. I'm saying is, and that's all they did was film this kid opening mm -hmm. some toys. Mm -hmm. Right. Millions. You know, you know, there are dogs that have a million followers. <laughs> Man. Right. <laughs> right. I've right. seen it. So I so all I'm saying is to anybody that's asking, mm -hmm. my my thing is quit asking how and go, when am I gonna get this done? Mm -hmm. Right. And don't ask how. If you're asking how, just stop asking and just do it. Just do mm -hmm. it. And, and and the mistakes you make is gonna tell you how. Yeah. The mistakes you make is going to tell you, okay, don't do this anymore because this isn't working, or maybe this is working. It's hard to say what's not going to work. Yeah, you I don't, don't know. I don't, you don't know until and you a do lot it. Of a lot of times, people don't succeed because what they're doing it doesn't work. They stop. They don't succeed because what they're doing they stop doing. So okay, they think it's not working. And and and, yeah. and the only thing, that's, man, that's the only, great. The, mm -hmm. and, and that's with the the technical, you know, with the with the shooting and the filming, man. Listen, I tell everybody, man, if you want to write. The one thing you can do, <clears throat> first of all, read scripts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, right. A, 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 there's there's a couple of good books. Writers, hey yeah. man, save the cat. Save great the cat. Book. Yeah. Uh, 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 my script is better than your script. Mm -hmm. Great, great book. Right. There are a few books. The hero's journey. There are a few books you can get that can help you. And I tell people, man, listen, writing. Is rewriting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you if you've learned and you got take a bro, there's nothing wrong with taking a class. Mm -hmm. I've right. taken several of them. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, you know. So take your class, bro. Go save your money, man, and go. Hey, man, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go to the writers boot camp, or I'm gonna go to a, a class at my university. I'm gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna take a seminar. I'm gonna take a a a, a, um, a workshop mm -hmm. for writing. It, bro, I would tell people if if you're coming to L like if you say, hey man, I want to get in the LA scene, bro. If you want to come out here and you want to learn how to get into acting and writing, the first thing I tell you is come out here and go to if you spend six weeks and go to the go to a class and learn how to have a script at the end. Mm -hmm. 
You want to come out here and you want to learn how to mm-hmm. act? Go to a good acting class. Find right. out who's the best teacher out here. Mm-hmm. Learn from them and then go back home and do the shit do you're your doing. Thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bro, you don't need to live out here to do this and you can do what you do someplace else. Right. So don't waste your money coming out here doing this. Mm-hmm. Get it done where you are. I love it. So, so <clears throat> I wanted to piggyback off of that, but I, but I'm sorry if did I, I, I ran over. Did we give time. you a chance to, to answer the question? <laughs> uh, I, I do want to piggyback off of what he said. Um, I just want to yeah. before we get into some awards. Yes, yeah. piggyback and, and I, um, he said it. Don't start big. If you have a script, take a few pages out of that script and shoot a small version mm-hmm. of the storyline or a piece of the plot in that in that short thing. For example, before I started doing web series and, and shows and stuff like mm-hmm. that, I did one minute sketches, one minute sketches on on Instagram. I be I never really got on the Vine. I never got into that Vine mm-hmm. wave because that was six seconds. Right. And then you know, on IG was fifteen seconds. I started mm-hmm. doing it then, and then mm-hmm. oh, it gave us a whole minute. I'm going to tell the story in a whole minute. When I first started going and, and the big job push started really making some noise, it was those 60-second sketches that turned into three minutes on YouTube and then Facebook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, then they started asking for longer episodes of the, of the little sketch series that I was doing. And that's when I started doing, okay, I can do more. I can do I, – I can go – it takes longer, but I have an audience now that I watch that. So start, start mm-hmm. small. And then you get to the Outlaw Johnny back. Right? Absolutely. Like, you know, like – That's absolutely. where I'm trying to get to. So – So, Yeah. So when you started, when you started doing your videos and sharing, did you already have a large following? No, not at all. So how did you get through that phase? Because I think this is where a lot of creators get thrown off, that phase where it seems like nobody's fucking paying attention. Um, right? Like, you know, oh, they're working hard. They're, you got to keep going. They've, they've edited, you know, and and they're <laughs> and they're putting what they feel is some of their best stuff out there. Yeah. And they're it's not getting a lot of views. It's not getting a lot. I feel like that's where you have to start that's start. where people die. You yeah. see them start and right? put all that work in. You see the three weeks and uh-huh. then you see the drop off. You put same yeah, you, with podcasts, right? Exactly. You see the three weeks and then the drop off. Right. So like, how did you get past that that point? I just started small, literally. Like, um, I, I'm gonna tell you something, and you're a part of that. I, I, I DP'd uh, like a short film or like a short series um, with Nate, jo- Nate, my boy, Nate Jackson. Nate mm-hmm. Jackson. Who played your son. son. You played his father. Right. And uh, welcome, I think it was called Sweet Home. Welcome back. Su- uh, home Sweet Home. Home mm-hmm. Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home. Right. You played his dad. Right. And I shot that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that's what I was doing before I started getting in front of the camera all the mm-hmm. time was I was shooting. I was I was the cameraman, mm-hmm. and I was shooting everybody's stuff. And he did this long project, man, and he did a good job. He he started breaking it down by episode by episode. Each minute was an episode. It was an eleven minute short film that he broke down into eleven minutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, one minute at a time, mm-hmm. and that was years ago. That's before I really started going with my stuff. So when I started doing my stuff, I'm not going to do a big project because you don't have an audience. No one cares yet. Mm -hmm. And they ain't been caring because I've been doing small stuff and they haven't been caring. I just started, I made a a decision that I'm going to keep going. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do forever. You know what I'm saying? Football is one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to go to pros. I never, I never got to the biggest, uh, the biggest stage. Mm -hmm. Football or film, that was, that was my goal or both. Football didn't take me there. Film, I started doing film. And mm-hmm. I want it's something I want to do forever. I'll do it for free because I love doing it. So I just started doing it every day. Um, um, every day, if I'm not shooting it, I'm editing and I'm doing it every day until something happens, until my life changes financially or even artistically. It, it, uh, giving up wasn't in, in my in, in the plans no more. I've done that before. I will shoot two or three s- sketches a year at one point in time. Mm-hmm. You can't get nothing done unless you go viral. But even then, you got to follow up with another project, another, something, else, something else, something else, something else. You got to keep working. And if you if you're trying to go viral, you'll do something one once or twice, and if it happens, it happens. If it don't, then you'll probably fall back and not do it again for another ten months. Mm-hmm. You know, I got to a point where I went from two to- two or three times a year to th- two or three times a day. I'm gonna shoot two or three sketches today, mm-hmm. every day. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? And, that's, and, that's, and I kept going once I did that, and yeah. once I put myself in the front of the camera, because like before for years. All the comics know I've been doing this since 2009. Mm-hmm. Stand up comedy, you know, um, and I, my, my my the people I was writing for were com- comedians, and I was shooting for them. I was writing mm-hmm. something for them, and I had them shooting. They were, I was behind the camera directing, mm-hmm. and then when I put myself in front of the camera and directed myself and had somebody else shoot, that's the one thing that really kind of you know because the the stuff I was writing I could play that probably better than the guys I was having. Yeah. 
yeah. to play this character. You know what I'm saying? So I, I once I once I combined the two of my writing plus me in front of the camera, that's when things started working. Dropping gems from Ja and Buddy. Okay, mm-hmm. we gotta we we gotta bring this thing to a close. Oh, so, so I know, fast. I know, so I know. Fast, I was man. just having fun. I he know. was just cooking. <laughs> yes, but now I want you to put on your non-cast hat, but just as a regular viewer of the movie. Okay. We're going to give out some awards. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, for the outlaw Johnny Black, mm-hmm. who is the MVP of the movie? This could mm-hmm. be the character, group of characters. It could be a performance. What is the most important person, actor, character in the outlaw Johnny Black? Uh, Who's your MVP of the movie? Uh, Buddy Lewis. No, I'm kidding. Hey. <laughs> that was easy. Nice. No, I just, that was easy. Mm-hmm. I messed with you, man. That was, no, no, you know what, That's man? a tap-in that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very good question. I think, uh, uh, for me, it, it, it was Mike. Yeah. Mike, yeah. Mike is the MVP, man. Mm-hmm. And and then I would say uh, equally uh, was, uh, I think, Erica Ash's character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they they were really MVPs uh, of, the, of the film because they, they did the... They did the most. Byron Byron Mims did great too, man. He did. It was, just, it was just man. It was so many. It was so many great performances, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And and uh, to make the movie complete, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Shaq, who's your MVP? Um, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Mike. I agree because he did the most changing. Um, I think he he started off. This film was about. Johnny Black getting revenge on right. the, the murder of his father, mm-hmm. and uh, he found uh, a more important cause right. in the film, and that was to protect his town. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He found and he found he found that he and, and ended up caring for Jesse Lee, and so he changed. You know, um, and the, so to me, as far as the movie, as he, to see the, his, his his transformation. And he, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, I thought that was the dopest. Yeah, obviously he's the main character. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes the main character is not the, the MVP. He's for not us. the MVP. A lot of the right. time, the MVP isn't necessarily the main yeah. character. Yeah. In this case, I think it is. And the runner-up would be Erica Ash for sure because she sold it. She sold mm-hmm. it so much, so well. Yeah. And um, I yeah. think that like I think it's Mike, and I think it's because we have to believe that the outlaw Johnny Black is a bad motherfucker. Right. Right. right? And even though, like the same way we believe that Black Dynamite, mm-hmm. is, you know, and so I think, I think he's the MVP because I think this movie asked him to do so many different things. Right. It asked him to be funny. Mm-hmm. It asked him to be strong. Mm-hmm. It asked him to be introspective. Right. It asked him to be romantic. Yes. You know, and so, and that's a mm-hmm. lot of shit for. And he and directed act, the whole thing. Yeah, you know, a, man. No, I, well, I'm gonna tell you, I, I, you know what? I yes, and I was trying to. Technically, there is nobody more important in the movie than than mm-hmm. than Mike because he directed, he acted, he, you know, he did all those things. But yeah. when you're talking about just when we're talking about the film itself, and I'm trying to be a fan mm-hmm. and not a technical person because yeah. I, I I can do that right. right as right. a writer. You know, man, he should have said this and all that bullshit. But um, the character. Definitely had a arc mm-hmm, that right. was that was uh, uh, pronounced, and it was a fu- it was a fun journey watching right. that character's arc from this mm-hmm. vengeful, m- murderous kind of outlaw mm-hmm. to this guy that was, hey man, you know what? I'm I'm living to for something else. Yeah. yeah. And 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 that's a that was that was the great part of the story that this character moved from uh yeah. th- th- that murderous, you know, mm-hmm. vengeful yeah. thing to mm-hmm. this guy that changed that into protection mm-hmm. right. for a town and a group of people exactly. and one person in general. Yeah. Yeah. He was going to take that town's money. Yo, oh, he yeah, was, he was, he was, up he was until the end. It. He was going. He, he was, was going to take the money. Like, and I saw glimpses of him being his character being solid when he didn't smash Jesse Lee, Bessie Lee. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he wanted them bad, but he he kind of because <laughs> a, a real outlaw, not a real outlaw, a, a terrible pre- a person is going to take advantage yeah. of the both. situation. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna get them sisters. I'm gonna get them both. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm smashing Bessie but and you know Jesse. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Jesse <laughs> is fine enough to make you change your ways. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like she's got that. Nigga, yeah. Yeah. She's got that. 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 You know how like some that women. That thing. That thing. But but here's what's interesting. Mm-hmm. Some women are so fine, so beautiful. Yeah. 
that you almost don't want to smash. Right? Yeah. It's like, like that's crazy that you say that because it's kind of true. It's kind of like you be like, oh, I know that. I will smash. <laughs> See, I know. Hey, I, know I that. will smash your pretty yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But there, uh-huh. <laughs> but you understand the sentiment. I know. I, know, I yeah. understand. Yeah. You understand the sentiment. <laughs> yeah. He said, no, I, but, 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 yeah. you, but I think it's the it's the pedestal thing. Uh-huh. You know, you put you put some women on a pedestal. It's like, oh, they're so beautiful. It's, it's, it's like, how they carry themselves. It's, 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 it's a class. It's a class. Yeah. It's a class. I don't want to treat her like I'm going to treat exactly. this chick. Yeah. Because listen, listen, I guarantee you, if <laughs> Halle Berry worked in a strip club, you wouldn't have the same. <laughs> right, right, right. Sliding. Yeah. Yeah, Slide yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, 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 it's the class factor. It's a class right. thing. And, and, exactly. she, and she brings she brings a class and sophistication to the movie uh-huh. right. where it's like, if you don't fuck with her, you got to come correct. Right. Know? Right. And he was on bullshit. Right. He and, knew he was on there on bullshit. And she, being who she was, was the lighthouse for him. Uh-huh. Like, it's literally... I think his relationship with her, plus the reckoning of what his father was talking about, right. like it all kind of like happens in a, in a pretty cool moment. But I think ultimately she's the beacon that brings him in. He changes for her, oh, right? Like man, you know, not yeah. even so much for the town. I think it's for her first, and she's mm-hmm. true, the town true. second, and, and right? Carelessly, she's she's for the town. So yes. yeah, it's, I get it. Yeah, and. And when he did that speech, that that, that, that sermon mm-hmm. that he remembered from his, from Percy, from, all from all Reverend yeah, Percy's yeah. Uh, letter, all those years in the pews. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. That he remembered from his dad's, dad's yeah, from his dad's and, sermon. And it kicked sermon. in. He was like, "Oh snap!" Yeah, and, and not yeah. only did it kick in for the time for that sermon, it kicked in in here and here yeah. for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was a great. And that made him. That, that was another thing that made him change. It was dope. I, I think, and that's what said when I say saved the movie. I told you my critique about it earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what saved the movie. I wanted more you, Tommy and, and Kim, mm-hmm. and I, and um. But as far as story and as far as seeing his arc, dope. Yeah. I, I think the only other thing that I that this is the only I, I would say small critique I had with him. I would like to have seen what the father's story was before yeah. there was there wasn't mm-hmm. enough backstory for me. Uh, why he, was, why was he so handy with the gun? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and a why, reverend. Yeah. And yeah. why did the guys come after him? You know, that I, and, and, I, and I have to go back and watch the movie again yeah, to, 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 to clearly, because Mike subtly does things that you miss and you go, oh, man, he did say that. Mm-hmm. I have to go back and look at it. But I, as I recall, there wasn't, like, how was um, Clan, Clancy... Uh, mm-hmm. Clayton, rather. Brett Clayton, Brett Clayton, mm-hmm. Brett Clayton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How was the father and Brett connected? I, there was something there, but I gotta, re- I'd have to remember. It kind of, it, it, it kind of, it wasn't full enough for me. Like, hey, they were riding in a gang together, and he mm-hmm. took the money, time, and yeah. you know, or he yep. did something. But I he tried to get I, out. Yeah, yeah, he wanted. I out. think he tried to do it right. with with the um, pops being such a great gunslinger, right? Shooting cars out the sky, yeah. And I think as a Clay, Brett Clayton was supposed to be the, the best gun yeah, in the I, West, I, right? So that, right. At, at the at the minute at the smallest, not the smallest, right. but at the mm-hmm. very least, that's what he explained. Was like, oh shit, you the best. Well, let me show you. Yeah, I'm the best. And, and 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 that again, like I said, I would have to go back, but it it, and I mean to. How did the father get so handy? Other yeah, than I would have loved that's that a really interesting He had story. to be. He, uh, he, I, in my mind, I would want to know that he had a different life before right. the ministry. I mean, that's you know that's great. That's great and classic Western trope, right? Of right. like the changed man, right? Right. Mm-hmm. We see that in a lot of times in Unforgiven, like Clint Eastwood's character is is one of the most. E- Clear Oof. examples of the change yeah, man, the change right? Man. Which is like you know when you come to see him, he's got a family, he's got a farmer, maybe mm-hmm. he's a minister, but back in the day, you was known as Tony Two Gun, Tony yep. Two Gun, <laughs> right? Like you know, Shame you, you, you pass the price, you pass uh-huh. the price now, mm-hmm. but you Tony Two Gun, and there's a reckoning for what you did, right? Right. So in this particular case, whatever he did to be that that handy with the steel in that day and age. You know, made him a target, right? Mm-hmm. Even just for reputation, right? Even if he hadn't harmed anybody in the past, right? Or there was nobody seeking revenge. Word on the street say that you faster than me. I'm I don't kidding. think you are. Yeah, right. Let's find me. out. Right. And right. I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. And the Reverend, like, no. I got, a, I got a wife and yeah, kids. Yeah. I'm not trying in the to, congregation. Yeah. No, sir. No, I'm not. Yeah. Back in the day, or the mop shoot. Probably. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And another movie that's like that. 
That's like a, a the guy channel, a change man. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's not a blackbuster, but go see it anyways. It's one of my favorite films. Uh, to watch at that time, I was in college called A History of Violence. Oh, History yeah. of Violence, man, that movie's incredible. I thought bro. that was super the dope. The greatest, yeah. one of the yeah. greatest movies ever. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I'll give you another corny one. It's not very good, but it's it's very style, stylized. Uh, Russell Crowe's character in Quick and the Dead. Yeah. Yeah, Quick and the Dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's that crazy. Quick that was going to be my example before I made part of this yeah. one. Yeah. I liked yeah. Quick and the Dead. That was going to be my Yeah. Yeah. That was also, uh, what's her name? Uh, a Long Kiss Goodnight. Oh, Long Kiss Goodnight. The, 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 the yeah. female version. Mm-hmm. The female. She, that was a great one with uh, yeah. Sam, Sam, that's Samuel Western. Jackson. Yeah. That's, that's a that's Western. A modern sure. Western. A modern yeah. Western. Right. Yeah. Right. Man, it's a few. And I'm going to ask you this. Before we go to, before we end this with a few fists, um, I, if I could have you back, brother, I would love to have you back on other project, other other films that you enjoy. Oh man, please, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. man, you know what? I'm a film buff. You know, oh, I, I watch let movies, her hear it. man. I, 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 I watch movies it. and and I watch stuff. You know, and and because I write, yes, I want to see, I want to see how to get from the beginning to the end. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, because there's this thing, man, with writers, especially with black films there's always this thing where uh well you know how did the how does the character how how does he relate you know and how do you uh, we need to find a heart and all mm-hmm. that you you want to find out how to do that mm-hmm. right. on the page yeah. right so yeah. i watch a lot of movies and so i i try to keep up with what's happening yes you know and, and be mm-hmm. a part of it so I'm a I'm a film guy. I like yeah. movies. I love to hear it. So yeah. definitely, I, I definitely yes. have you back, brother. Yes, please have me yes, back. Yes, indeed. Let's, Let's give and it. And I don't fist. even have to be in the movie. Yeah. Right, right, right. All right. <laughs> no, we're just gonna have you do some because, of your faves, man. Yeah, we want okay, to for sure. Have you do some of your for favorites, sure. man. Yep, for absolutely, sure. Absolutely. Um, okay, so on a scale of five black fists, uh-huh. all time classic, one black fist, black movie that got made. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> How do you rank Outlaw Johnny Black? What's oh, your rank? That's a good question, mm-hmm. man. Five all time classic mm-hmm. to one a movie that got made. Okay. Um, uh, you go first. Okay, I'll go first. I'm going to give Outlaw Johnny Black a solid strong three. Mm-hmm. A solid strong three. If yeah. I'm being honest, yeah. Um, there were some great things in there. Uh, I had my critique about it. And it's a it's the type of film that I, I will watch again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's a great because I'm I'm a I'm a filmmaker. Um, it, and, um, aspiring to do what he did, shoot a feature that I wrote yeah. and that, that I directed yeah. and I starred in. That's that's a heavy lift. Mm-hmm. That's and I know how hard yeah. it is because I'm doing it now. I, I just I just finished a project, season three of the Lesbian Homie. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's in post right now. Right and uh. It's it's heavy. I, it was it was tough for me. Um, people around me saw the the the, the overwhelmingness and energy I was giving out sometimes. Mm-hmm. So uh, I know how hard it is to 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 do that, especially at the level that he's at. I mean, even with a bit with so much more of a budget, I'm sure, uh, and so many people, and it's a western. Those are not easy things to do. It's mm-hmm. a period piece. It's a strong three. I will watch it again, and um, because I I would love to one day talk to him about it mm-hmm. because um. I will tell him why I gave it a three. If he ever watches this, or I will tell him in person. And um, mm-hmm. and uh, it's definitely something that I'm glad he did. I want to see more of it. That's kind of why uh, it it it, it could have been a, a stronger a number mm-hmm. if for my things I the things I wanted to see in it. Mm-hmm. I wanted it to be a, a funnier, and um, it was it was funny, mm-hmm. but I wanted it to be funnier. Not I'm not saying it had to be uh. A black dynamite, not at mm-hmm. all. But um, it was, but it's tough to do when it's a western, yeah, period piece, yeah. And on top of that, love story in some way, a parody. It's a lot, a lot it's of a lot happening in this movie. It's not easy to do. It's yeah. not easy to do yeah. at all. But I think that it was definitely a solid, solid three for me. Uh, I'm gonna give it a solid. I'm gonna go with a, with a four, mm-hmm. and and I'll say you know. Four be and, and and why I'm the diminished like all time classic. I think there are some movies that are just like you said, the genre, the the rip roaring funny throughout right. the thing. Right. right. I I would give see I I would give Black Dynamite a five. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Black Dynamite so, so is this, a five. This, 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 this yeah, is exactly. You know, yeah. uh, but, easy. But this is a four for me for the reasons that you said. There were a lot of avenues and areas that he was trying to cover right. that sometimes I feel like 
you can't service everything mm-hmm. with equal quality. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and I and, and and what I mean by that is the story, the funny, the 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 humor, the love, the, the you know, all of those genres come into play when you're watching a movie mm-hmm. right. and, and character development and all that kind of stuff. So I think uh a four for me, I, I would I would watch this movie again. Mm-hmm. But like I said, it's one of those things where um I think it was a different type of movie and and it sort of, I don't want to say fooled you, but it was one of those things where you had to watch it for different things. Yep. It wasn't a, it wasn't an all out comedy. Yep. Yep. It, it wasn't, wasn't a full out Western. Yep. Right. It wasn't a love story. You know, it had a lot of different elements that you needed to watch it. Revenge movie, love yeah, story. Revenge, right. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. all kinds of stuff on there. And uh, even a buddy comedy. Cause mm-hmm. you know, him and, him and Byron Mims. Yeah. You know, yeah. They be doing you know, that so, thing. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So, so. Bullhorn. There, the bullhorn. Oh, <laughs> so there are a lot of, there are a lot of different things, but I definitely a solid four. For me, uh, I remember one time on a report card, I got a C in math, but I got an E for effort, and E standing for excellent. Right. And I, I remember mm. my dad being okay with that. Mm. He was mm. like, you got a C, but the E for effort means that you were trying. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to put you on punishment for this C <laughs> because, <laughs> facts. because your teacher says that you're trying. Right. I want you to get better. Mm-hmm. Don't stop trying. But that E for, for effort saved my ass on that right. particular report right. card. Um, Michael J. White gets an E for effort right. for, yes. for attempting this, right. for attempting this movie, for attempting this genre. I think that it, it's a three black fist for everything that I've talked about earlier, mm-hmm. right? Because I think it does have, it's a Gemini. It's right. got two different, it's two different movies yes. in one. Mm-hmm. And I think if you extract one of those parts, any one of those parts, I think that like the grade elevates, right? right. So I right. think I think it suffers a little bit from its ambition, Right, Man, you know what I mean, like sure. you know, just in terms of in terms of the execution, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but Michael J. White is making the films I would love to make, and I can see the brilliance <laughs> in this direction. Exactly, exactly. I can see the brilliance in this direction. So there's flowers to be given for sure. If black if if Black Dynamite is a five, just simply the way the scale works, this can't be a five because this film is not as good as as Black Dynamite. Right? Right. I didn't enjoy it as much. Let me not right. let me not say it's not as good. I didn't enjoy it as much right. as I did Black Dynamite. But all in all, I'm happy as part of the black film catalog i'm happy i watched it yes. and for anybody that hasn't watched it watch it but come into but remove all that black dynamite shit from your mind right yeah. like you aren't getting Two a sequel films. to black dynamite right mm-hmm. watch it for for the genre pick that it is right amen and, and amen. that's it yes, I, I would give that and that's definitely it. yes, yes boom. yeah man yeah. i gotta tell y'all the and i gotta next time i come back man we're gonna go back and we're gonna Talk about Black Diamond because there's so much behind the oh, scenes. Yeah, we got to do a special episode. Yeah, you know, like that. like where you know you find out how the movie got made. Where that's the stuff I want to know. We got to do that. All that kind of we stuff. Do man. That. You know, and, and Mike Man is uh, man. I, I'm so proud of him, man. Just as a as a brother, uh, making black movies, putting black folks to work. Hell yeah. So that's a good thing. Too. Hell yeah. So, yeah. 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 He's is definitely right? yeah. yeah. This is great. And and his That's wife amazing. Jillian. I gotta say, hey, she's a bison, Howard Bison. Yes, hey, Jillian. Howard bison for sure. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> It's fantastic. Yeah, right. man. Thank yes, you for having yeah. me, man. I Thank appreciate you. it, man. We're going to come back and do some of your favorite movies. Oh, for yeah. sure, you, yes, bro. Yes, back yes. And just, you know, I, I mean, I think like the bits that you guys did just about creating right. was to me some of the most valuable parts of the show. Right. right? You. Like, you know, and we can have that conversation. Yes, so, sir. Anytime. You know, come back. Yes, sir. Anytime, man. And I promise, man, just just, just let me know, man. I won't, I won't, I won't do no BS. Like, I, I put this in the calendar, bro. I, uh, nah, next, I, it's all I good. kept saying myself, last night, I was like, I put this I in the four, calendar. I, I was like, hey, man, four o'clock. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for being here. I had to keep saying it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love it. Yes, it did. And also, much another, uh got to throw another love out there for Omega Sci Fi, brother. Real to the good, bro. Man. I, 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 hey man, you gotta come to the Q's uh, Q's friends show, man. You gotta, you okay. gotta come. Yes, right, I, okay. I will. We're I'll doing another one up. probably in, in June, first of June and July. Okay. Make sure you come. Yes, sir. Are you gonna uh, perform? 
Of course, if I come, okay, okay good. All right, man. Yes, okay, okay, so I you're on you. the show. I'm okay. putting you on the show now. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a date, and you're gonna be on the show. So mm-hmm. yeah. I'll be there. All right, great. I'll be there. There it is, Rudolph. There, Rudolph. There it is. Absolute, absolute, absolute. Cool, man. This is another episode of Black Busters, the best movie review podcast in the world. And the world, Craig. And the world, Craig. The world, I'm your Craig. host, Big Ja, mm-hmm. <laughs> along with my co-host, Tony Two Gun. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and our special <laughs> guest. The Q's, mm-hmm. Buddy Lewis. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And he will be back. Thank Absolutely, you. Absolutely, man. Yeah, for one, I just don't want to pick your brain about the ex- your experience in this business. There's so much more. There's a lot of so much more I can learn talk and about. I would love to learn. From yeah, you. pick this brain. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pick it up. Pick it up. And it because it's it's really almost exposed. So we got access. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. We can't. Ball Brothers podcast. Ball Brothers podcast. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Man, catch us next time, man. Uh, be good or be good at it. We out of here, man. Peace to the max. Black Busters.